Back to back shootings in Orange Mound this morning, less than a mile apart. Now one man is on the run accused of breaking into his ex girlfriend's apartment and shooting another man in the chest. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alex Coleman and I'm April Thompson. It's a shift in crime that one local pastor says contradicts the area's rich history. WRG Shea Simon has the story. Loud sirens fill the early morning air at the Pendleton Place apartment in Orange Mound. Memphis police and EMS swarmed the complex around 1 30 Wednesday morning investigating a shooting after a man was shot in the chest and rushed to Regional 1. Right now, nobody feels safe in Memphis. Dr. Bill Adkins is a pastor in Raleigh, all too familiar with the crime across the city. There's a lot of danger out there in the streets, and we know it, and it affects every community. The shooting off Lamar and Pendleton Street was the first of two overnight shootings in Orange Mound within one mile of each other. Around 4 a.m., officers found a man grazed by a bullet on Mariana Street. Police say that shooting happened at Carnes in Pendleton. Once regarded as one of the greatest African-American communities in the entire United States of America, something to be very proud of. Now we're looking at a situation where it's full and, and, and ripe with crime. Memphis police said the Pendleton Place Department's investigation led them to a woman who says her ex-boyfriend kicked down her door, ran to her bedroom, where she was with her four-month-old and another man. That's when she says her ex-boyfriend started fighting with the victim, then pulled out a gun and shot him. She claims her ex accused the victim of robbing her at gunpoint. We have no other choice now but to go out and find ways and means by which we can rid the city of so much gun violence. For your news leader at Orange Mound, Chase Simon, WREG News Channel 3.